Hello everyone, welcome to our next lesson. Today's lesson is on Pascal's triangle. Now to start off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at um, if we we're gonna expand x plus y to different powers. So let's look at x plus y to the power of one. Well, if we expanded that, that would just be equal to x plus y. If we expanded x plus y to the power two, using FOIL or any other method, you would get x squared plus two xy plus y squared. If we did x plus y to the power three, we would get x cubed plus three x squared y plus three x y squared plus y cubed. Well, if we just looked at the numbers at each term, so the numbers in front of each term for this one is one and one. The numbers in front of the next one for each term is one, two, one. The numbers in front of each term for the next one is one, three, three, one. Now Pascal, what he did is he put all those numbers and wrote them down, one, 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 two, one, one, three, three, one, and so on and so forth, and he came up with Pascal's triangle. Now to be truthfully honest, he didn't come up with it because the Indians and the Chinese and the Arabs all knew about Pascal's triangle long before, but our textbook uses the name Pascal's triangle, so I'll be consistent. What's neat about Pascal's triangle is all the patterns that you can see. So for instance, if we were just looking down this column, you notice it's all going up by one. One, two, three, four, five, and that would continue forever. Or if we went down the next column, one, three, six, ten, you may recognize that as your triangle numbers. Um, some other patterns you may notice, well, here is one, it's called the hockey stick, where if you add all the numbers going down the, the, the stick, and then you get to the blade, the stick, one plus two plus three is equal to six. So, for instance, if I was going this way, one plus four plus 10 is equal to 15, I know that this number would be 15 here. Other patterns. Well, let me just erase these. If you had, let's say, some marbles, and you wanted to have them fall down and they're gonna hit these pegs. Instead of numbers, they're pegs here. If you had two marbles, one would go this way and one would go this way, assuming there's a 50-50 chance of it going either way. If you had two, uh, four marbles, two would go this way, then one would go this way and one would go this way. One would go this way, one would go this way. So you would have one, two, and one. If you had eight marbles, four would go this way, four would go this way. Two of those would go that way, two would go this way. Two would go this way, two would go this way. So you have four here now. Two would go this way, one would go this way, one would go this way. Two would go this way, one would go this way, one would go this way, and you would have one, three, three, one. Amazing. Other patterns we may see? Well, if you were flipping three coins, your possible combinations, well, to get no tails from three coins, the only possible combination is head, head, head. So there's only one possibility. If you wanted to get one tail, there's three different possibilities. Head, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head. There's three different possible combinations. To get two tails, there's head, tail, 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 head, tail, 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 head, another three combinations. And to get three tails, there's only one possible combination, and that's tail, tail, tail. And you may recognize that one, three, three, one. Yeah, it's right here in your Pascal's triangle. Going back to expanding our, our, uh, um, our x plus y to the power of something, to figure out what these numbers are, we have the, 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 the access of technology, your graphing calculators that can help you figure out what those numbers are. So we're gonna explain more in the next lesson, but this is seven choose zero, this is seven choose one, and this is seven choose two, and this would give you the number that would be in front of each term. 
And how you figure it out is using your graphing calculator. You go to the probability, go to combinations, and then if you wanted to figure out, um, let's see, four choose two, so that would be x plus y to the power of four is equal to four choose zero, x to the power four plus four choose one, x to the power three, y to the power one, plus four choose two, x to the power two, y to the power two. So to figure out this number, you can use this technology to help you out. We will be going more in detail with this when we look at the binomial theorem, but this just gives you a good introduction into Pascal's triangle. Have a good day.